Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to solve a problem for Epson EcoTank. The scanner here, EO2, and there's a small number underneath, 100016. You'll find your printer start okay, and just at the random time, suddenly you get this error. They ask you to turn off the printer, and you turn it off, turn it back on, and uh, the error just doesn't go away. Uh, this problem may cause by a couple things. Uh, when you start a printer, uh, the printer will try to move uh, this, the scanner unit to the left and scan a small patch of uh, white uh, as, a, as, as a signal that everything works okay. Uh, the printer doesn't have eyes, so it doesn't know what's going on. It depends on a couple sensors. So first thing, you may have something physically make the scanner unit not able to move to the left. Uh, including you have a dirty cable, so there's no power to the unit, so it cannot move. Or you have some uh, thing physically obstruct the pathway of the scanner, and uh, something mechanical. And the next thing is your lamp. The lamp might be burned out. So if you don't see a white light, that means the the lamp burned out. So it cannot scan that little patch. So the sensor will not be able to recognize you moving to the left. And thirdly. You might just have a really bad motherboard, or now it's a political correct, the man board. So for a printer this new and this clean, I don't suspect any physical obstruction of the move path of the scanner. So I'll take it out and clean the cable first. I hope you can find out it's just a dirty cable or misplaced cable. Um, uh, however, if everything uh, doesn't work out, you can always find the par spare parts by go to bchtechnologies.com and then go to the printer parts and go to Epson and uh, see if we have a spare parts for you. ET2720 really easy to uh, take apart and uh, remove the two screws in the front and uh, it's on both sides. Now you can lift up the whole scanner unit. Uh, there are three cables, and they're in different sizes, so don't worry about uh, mix them up. Just uh, pull them out and uh, clean them. I'll take a, a dry cloth, just uh, start cleaning them. And if you use a sandpaper, uh, use a super, super fine, like a 2000 grit uh, sandpaper. Um, most most time, the dry cloth just do the work. You don't need to go to the sandpaper. Or, um, Another thing you can try is use the, uh, the rubber eraser. Uh, to insert a cable back, it's easier to take uh, this side panel off. So uh, just go to a screwdriver or something uh, to pull, push the tab in, and then use your uh, hand, just jiggle it, and you can take the whole cover off. Uh, now pay attention to which direction the cable goes in. So from the, the smallest uh, cable, you can see the contact points is on the top. Uh, the medium cable contact points on the bottom. So for the cable, the smallest cable, the shining points, uh, the shining side should be on the top and the blue side should be on the bottom. And for the medium cable, uh, the blue side should be on the top and the shining side should be on the bottom. Now we put the bigger cable, just like the two other cables on the side, and uh, there's a sticky uh, double-sided tape and that can help us to stabilize the cables. Uh, don't put the side of cover back yet because uh, uh, we're going to plug in the power so it works. If it doesn't power on because your bigger cable is not installed correctly, just reinstall it. So now power it on and uh, now you can see it can move. So uh, the problem solved. Otherwise, you may have to take out, take the uh, scanner unit apart and uh, see the, all the sensors and uh, see if there's mechanical problems. Uh, try to use a color copy of page before you put the side panel back. So now we know the scanner is working. 
and uh, uh, the only problem is uh, it seems the, the nozzles are clogged. Uh, now we can uh, put the side panel back and uh, then ins insert the two screws in the front and, uh, and that the unit is ready to, for some uh, nozzle cleaning. After that, it's ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.